Hello everyone, Shadefire here, and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Last Light. This is bonus episode 9, and we're getting close to the end of the DLC. The uh, last pack is the character pack, and we're going to start off with Pavel here. My luck's been exceptionally rotten lately. I managed to get captured by the Nazis, fail to recruit a ranger into our ranks, and then almost get killed by the same ranger. All in a row. I did carry out my mission in Venice, but got caught again. Am I growing older or what? I wonder where am I now? How long is it going to take to get to the red line? So this takes place just after RTM uh, held up Pavel in Venice, before he escaped when the stalker Simon came in. And I guess he got caught by bandits who mostly run Venice. I can't take this shit anymore. Here, help! Did that knife have a card stuck to the end of it when he threw it? So, are you with us already, you come fuck? We just carved you up right here and now if I had my say. But our boss is a major bone to people's economies. And if the boss says something, we make fucking sure it happens, so. You got me? See what's around? It's a fucking power plant! So, I'll give you a shot, and you'll get to spinning the generator, which you'll do to your fucking drop. You fuck! You know, their generator slavery guy should probably be able to tie better knots. So somehow, Pavel got captured by the bandits, even though he had some sort of arrangement with the bandits before, when we interrupted, and he was going to betray them. But you can see here, we've got the power generator, presumably for all of Venice, and down there, the slave labor that powers it. I don't know what kind of lobotomizing shot he was going to give us. You can see there on Pavel's wrist, he's actually got the same watch as Artyom. Even though in the main game, when we're escaping from the Nazi camp, he points out, Man, it would be so useful to have a watch like that. That keeps track of your gas mask time. So presumably the developers did not actually remove that uh, first person asset. So this level is sort of an optional stealth level. You could just blast your way through it once you get some guns, but again, like a lot of the other parts of this game, it's a lot easier if you just stealth it. Well, right now we are unarmed. Got ourselves a knife. Because we don't have a gun, I can't actually look at the watch to see how hidden we are for the little blue light. What? Wait. Is it not going to let me pick up this gun? Okay, there we go. Really had to force it down. There are a number of safes scattered around in this DLC that you can find the keys for and, you know, sort of double back to open. There's even an achievement for opening all of them. I believe there was five? There's one of the keys right there. And, you know, these just give you some extra stuff to make it easier. Throwing knives, some ammo, and some military grade rounds, even though there isn't really much to spend them on. Uh, we could use them if we get an AK or something. A 
Another thing about the character pack is that it has a lot more bugs and general lack of polish than the previous DLCs. So I'm wondering if we're going to see any of those. Now I get that. Obviously, we're not going to shoot this guy because we've only got one shot. Pretty sure if we had missed the knife, we could also pick up that one on the table. Do you know how we got all that Nazi armor and stuff? Oh, that's all thanks to our boss. The Nazis are always short on grub, so they always give us a lot of stuff for Hansa food we bring them. Ah, that's what gives. I never knew. Well, our boss is the real deal. That's for damn sure. So that could explain why a lot of these guys are wearing Reich looking stuff. Eh? Who was that? Would have killed that guy, but it would have made more noise. Pavel, being a communist, does not care about leaving people alive. Are you yellow? Let's see if I am. <laughs> now, he's done that more than six times with the revolver. I think at this point you realize the entire thing is empty. Shut up! So, one more round. Ah, one more. Just gonna walk up here and this will be hilarious. Man, what a shitty bandit. Uh, is that the same as our duplet? I think we're just carrying three of them right now. Or two shotguns. Three shotguns. Two of them duplets. Let's get our numbers right. Alright. These are the same, so let's just dump them for the revolver. Which I believe is silenced. Doesn't look like an extended barrel. There's that guy again. The scribbled on mustache. I'm pretty sure that's one of the developers. Uh, look, what's up with the fucking lights all the time? Uh, everything's Wasn't it funny when you shot that guy? Everybody laughs. Except you. Fucking disgrace. Med kits. Is nobody gonna actually check on the lights? Well, man, say this suit. Why the fuck do we guard it? Diamonds. Are we Wrong again. It's art. <laughs> I wish there was more than the morale. I think there's just somebody voiced by Khan's Plus. voice actor in every Whoa. single one of these <laughs> DLCs. Look, man, why the fuck Once do you always more. drink so much? I had to. Spades. Nah, man. Fuck that, man. Is if you have nothing better to do. Uh, One more round. Fuck. Better. Okay, you can see that the watch is clipping through the suit or the sleeve of this jacket. Also, what I just picked up is one of their jackets, so now we look less conspicuous. What the... seems like someone... Well, I guess we weren't that inconspicuous. 
That's a better... No, that's the same. Except I think it's silenced. You really need a silenced ash shot. I'm definitely not gonna get all the safes because I don't even remember where some of them are. Do you know what's this shit about some bunker then? Tihar here. So the Nazis at this point know that we, the Rangers, found Polis, or not Polis, D6, but they don't actually know where exactly it is, which is why they're snooping around the surface at the beginning of the game when our team gets captured. Some kind of noise, uh. Some kind of bullet in my face. You can see there isn't a lot of AK ammo around. We're not really meant to be blasting away with fancy guns. That guy too. Whole gang is here. You know what was all that shit about when you're alive? Yes, but just a bit. They said the red attacked the party. Oh, okay. What's that? Nobody? It's a funny story. Okay, I think somebody saw me shoot that guy. Shit! He's down! Wait, how do they know he's down? They can't even see him from there. Just gonna open the door. That's one way to get around armor. Okay. Shit's getting serious. He's got a shambler. Okay, those guys are behind a gate, so I'm not gonna get to them. What's up? Oh my god, it's two knives. We don't have the best armament for this kind of fight, but I think we can win it. I got the pin, comrades! Casualty! One. Two. Those armored guys are gonna be a problem, though. We got your pig! Are down! Just stick your head up one more time. Ah, he's through the fence, can't him from here. You bastard! We're taking casualties! Careful! I think I dealt with most of them. Apparently that the only thing keeping that light running was a throwing knife. What does this big red button do? That's probably an alarm. That's locked. Oh, he's got an AK. I'm not sure I want to switch any of these out. What? Damn! Did that just like skim off of his head. Another safe key. 
Oh, he's got a better AK. Uh, do I want to dump the TR? Yeah, I've got the silence revolver. Remember where there would be a safe around here. Definitely not up here, because it wouldn't be right next to the key. Now we can't get out through that hallway where the gate was. Now it's probably this one here. Ooh, fancy revolver. But it's not silenced. That's nah, fine. Wow, why does it look so tiny now? Oh, shit. So problematically, we don't have a gas mask, and this is a toxic area. I think if we're quick, we can get through. Does it fight yet, Shukai? But you're fucking hungry now! Hey, what's up with you? I'm just pulling your leg. It doesn't fucking bite. Every asshole just needs to it. Come on, you fucking brought it on yourself. <laughs> Fishing here? Fuck yeah. I can fish whatever the fuck I want. But I'm sure this fuck not asking you for the belt. Probably don't want to fish in there. Such a fucking bore, Shukai. Can't take a fucking joke. Get lost. I can do it all your shit. Each and every one of you. We're all friends here. Just the drafts. Another TR. Well, it's done yet or what? No, no, it's gonna be another hour. Fuck. Why so long? Well, that's how it always is with the shrooms. Who's there? Nobody. It might be a good thing if there's someone's out there. Oh, shit. Sleep deprivation does play its tricks. If only I could air assassinate this guy. Rookie. Shit is almost over. I'm not actually sure where we got the key to this one, unless it was off one of those guys. This guy's got a VSS. That sounds like an escape route. I'm 
safe key. Go down the poop chute. Shit. I thought that guy was farther over. Oh, that's the guy I was standing above earlier. Attention! Enemy close! Enemy Hush. Oh, the safe key. One of ours is down. Is that? Oh, it's a fishing rod. I was like, is that some kind of sniper rifle? Where did my knife go? Come back here. God damn. Yeah, knife to meet you too. Interrupted by wood. Wow, did anyone else see that? Apparently, nobody else saw me knife that guy. two safes would be. They don't stand out nearly as much as the keys do. Look for the beach. You're right, I was on the roof the whole time. Oh, he's got a better VSS. Don't mind if I do. That's a dead end. I guess we'll just go forward. I mean, obviously the safes aren't that important. They just give you more ammo and stuff. Which, uh, we're not direly in need of. Maybe it's 12 safes instead of 5? I don't remember the exact number. Doors seem a little short. Oh, shit. told you the definition of insanity. Ah, fuck. Hey, 
I almost never look for those because who leaves fucking tripwires in their own base? Well, we've got a whole lot of military grade rounds now, or at least a whole lot for, you know, a DLC chapter. Oh, we're trapped in here. It's a good joke, yeah? I like how nobody is responding to this guy at all. I want to say that Kisley is probably one of the guys we killed as Artyom when we were coming after uh, Pavel. I'm get around this fence. They shouldn't know where I am. I only killed that guy because I have to jump across because I think the thing is right there. Stay cool, comrade. See, now if this was the first game, they would have shot me the entire way there, but since the stealth is more doable in this, they all shot the wall where they thought I was after I kept going. Can I seriously not shoot through this door? I am opening this door! A bunch of incendiary. Oh, wow, we already have five. I don't know where we got those. Got 
That room's pretty tough to get through without killing anybody or getting caught. Don't want to see if I had shot out the lights. Uh, I could have probably ran through without getting seen there. This leads somewhere. And now we're back in Valera. Venice. Nah, it's not Valera. Your move. <laughs> uh, sorry, man. Did you see our drummer there? The boys asked him out a couple of minutes back. He didn't see nobody. Your move. I didn't mean to uh, skip it, but there's actually a maybe dead guy in here who is presumably their drummer, who is just on the stairs with a bottle of alcohol. Either knocked out or dead. Demon. Huh? Not you. Hey, so hot. What? Quit your you got some spades? It's still break. No arrangements. Uh. And we didn't go to this swanky club while we were here. Oh, we're sure taking a sweet time, hey guys. Kill me back. Where is everyone? Out for business. A drink? Uh, can't drink now. The boss sees me drunk, he'll fucking kill me. I just came to have a chat with Pouch. Got sent by boss himself. So you just tell me when the boys are back, alright? Sure. This guy with a guitar wandering around. So what's the word in the tunnels lately? About Bourbon. What about Bourbon? There were these real... Don't fucking get it. What's holding it? There were these real cool blade fuckers. Uh, took out all the bandits around Riga. All of them? Shit. Yeah, so cool. Bourbon was the only one who lived. Lucky bastard. Why didn't they take him out too? He caught a bullet, right at the start. They probably thought he was dead. Who did it? Rangers? No way. They'd be bragging about it everywhere. And nobody heard Zip. How about the commies? Or the Nazis? They would have taken the station, fucking fascists. But when the guys arrived there, there were only dead bodies. And of course, Bourbon. Hansa has no business attacking a station either. So... It's a new gang? Yeah, with big balls, if they dared attack near Riga. I'm sure we're gonna hear more of them. Maybe, assuming Kisley didn't already chew them up and spit out their bullets. Ha! True. These fuckers don't have a chance with Kisley. It seems that Angle Bourbon survived his uh, getting shot in the first game. Yeah, I can't take this shit anymore. What the hell? I'm fucking tired of standing here. It wouldn't be so easy. Wait, last time the boss asked me to do Shut something, I didn't go. Put more shaving. Why are you standing here? So say none of them are actually standing. Hey man, <laughs> last time the boss asked me to do something. This guy looks so lonely. What happened? And here are the sticky grenades. Come on, get yourself some. Supplies are limited. My friend, if you need something, I'm always here. You might wonder why they're, uh, there's an ammo thing here, because this is the end of the level. This is actually so you can sell uh, all of your bullets to get money for the sex shows that have to be around. Same thing's five times cheaper around the corner. Get the fire started! <laughs> hmm, do we want the high price one or do we want the low price one? Well, Pavel's a good communist, he knows when to save. Fortunes told, fortune see. The future will be an open book for you. Look into the bowl. I see. See the past and the future. 
I see a long road and an important task. I see a strong wind and the icy cold, and it is troubled and heavy sadness. I see copper pipes and dirty waters and a heavy beating. An unexpected friend and dark clouds. What is this? How? Never before did it. Oh dear, oh dear, now you must go. Must go now. A dark fate follows in your steps. Don't ask for more. Don't try its patience. Go, go like the wind. I'll tell you this. There's a long road ahead, and then a fork in the road. And one way from that fork goes down. Down as far as the eye can see. And it's not you choosing the road. But it's you who will walk the chosen road. So old lady Anna here is basically telling Pavel about what we're going to have to pick for him in the Red Square level. Here you are. <laughs> Pavel Igorovich? Here? <laughs> do you know who I am? It's me, Yannick. You'll do your cover to hell. Of course, I knew it is you as soon as I entered the hall. Well, yes, you can report the situation, but quietly. Reporting. The undercover operation is progressing smoothly. Everything is as you instructed. I am unnoticeable, but can see everything. Great job. Carry on. Are you going to the red line now? There are some of our men at the platform with the rail car. They can take you. Great. That's most welcome. Well, take care, my friend. See you later. Oh, one more thing. Pavel Igorovich. Don't buy the cheap peep show. It's a scam. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I'm not actually sure where the uh, cheap show is. Attention, service the Shit, can't budge it. Damn this shit. Please, help a traveler in need. Give, and you will be given. Now, oh, here's the cheap one. The dirty window. Yeah, it looks pretty legit. Oh dear. Well, there's nothing like watching an old woman wiggle. I have to go now. <laughs> and I suppose we should uh, check this out since we got a lot of bullets. For only eight bullets more, you can watch a woman wiggle. Oh no, she actually turned around. They really wanted to get the most out of those nude models they made for the uh, main game. To make it the darker and edgier Metro. I have to go now. <laughs> and that's pretty much all you can do in Pavel. It's not the most exciting DLC level. Nothing too different happens in it. You know, no new guns or anything like that. And it's definitely not my favorite of the character pack levels, which would be the con level. Sorry, I was just checking out the peep shows. Peeping those peeps. So that's Pavel. Only two more levels to go. One of them is really short. And the other one is uh, fairly interesting. And is actually based somewhat on a pretty cool trailer for the game that came out before the game did, obviously. But we'll get to those next time. Until then, I've been Shadefire, and I'll see you all again some other time.